Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So, big billion days are just around the corner. So, obviously, you know, guys, I'll be coming live, uh, doing live streams, and recommending you the best products, clarifying your doubts. You know, have some Q and A sessions. I made new live streaming overlays for OBS. So, yep, really exciting for the you know uh, coming up days uh, with the big billion days. So, yep. Uh, however, this video is going to be different. This video is going to be about the upcoming Ryzen 7000 series of laptop APUs. So these will be coming up around the first quarter of 2023. These will be unveiled. So I am super excited for it because I am myself planning to finally purchase a new laptop. You know, I've been using my Acer Helios 300 2018. So it's been like it's going to be almost four years now. And uh, yeah, uh, super excited to jump into Ryzen, especially with Ryzen Zen 4. So yeah, super excited about it. So just a few days ago, uh, AMD unveiled their Zen 4 series of Ryzen 7000 desktop processors. And we got a great idea about the performance metrics. And I made a video on it. If you haven't checked it out, you can go check it out. Link is in the cards. So in, in short, Ryzen 7000, you know, the Zen 4 is a massive upgrade over Zen 3. So in short, if I tell you uh, in, a, in a simple example, like a Ryzen 5 7600X is matching a Ryzen 7 5800X with more cores and more threads in multi-core applications like Cinebench R23. It's ridiculous. Single core jump combi in combination with 13% IPC improvement and massive clock speed upgrades Ryzen 7000 like Zen 4s are claiming about you know 25 to 29 percent jump in single core performance that is insane like going from a Ryzen 9 5950X to a 7950X you're seeing an almost 30 percent jump in single core performance the Ryzen 5 parts the Ryzen 5 7600X is beating a core i9 12900K in single core performance so in short jumping from zen 3 to zen 4 is a massive upgrade it's a ginormous upgrade and i'm super excited for this tech to come into laptops and that's why i'm making this video alerting you guys those who are planning to purchase really high-end laptops because obviously guys the prices will be like it surely will be increased because the upgrades are monumental right the overall platform cost may also be increased because ryzen you know 7000 laptops will also be using only ddr5 ram so you know, overall the platform cost will, will add up, like it will be more compared to Ryzen 5000. So Ryzen 5000 Zen 3 is still pretty amazing, like great performance and efficiency. Even Zen 2, Ryzen 4000 is still enough in my opinion because I use it. So I, I, I'm telling from personal experience. So, you know, Ryzen 7000 is exciting because, you know, obviously this massive upgrade. And the other thing is that with Ryzen 7000, AMD is going to increase the core counts. So I'm going to come to it in a moment, but let me tell you in brief, the Ryzen 7000, like the most high end parts, the desktop replacement that, that AMD is calling out to be, you know, AMD Ryzen Dragon range. They are supposedly bringing up increased core count, like up to 16 cores, 32 threads. So super exciting guys. But uh, before that, let's go in a structured way. So AMD just unveiled a couple of days ago i think so a new nomenclature so a new naming scheme for the processors so that you can easily understand the generation the year of release the architecture and uh, you know the level of at which level it comes like the core counts and all those things just from the uh, the product the product number the model number of the cpu and uh, yeah it's pretty complicated actually it's it'll take some time to get used to this product you know naming scheme uh, so yeah i'll put it up in screen but let's take a look at, you know, AMD's uh, actual uh, sort of their laptop APU lineup because they are planning to have like almost five different product uh, launches simultaneously. Like they're going to maintain this five categories of laptop APU. So let's just take a look at it. Uh, AMD is going to call their products like starting with the Mendocino processors like 70, 20 series. So this is for everyday computing. So interesting part about the Mendocino is that they're going to have Zen 2 cores, like I think up to four cores, I think four cores CPUs this will be. But they'll be having RDNA 2 GPUs. So like RDNA 2 iGPUs, integrated graphics will be of RDNA 2 architecture. So this thing is basically, you know, what is there in the Steam Deck. The Steam Deck version is obviously quite a bit, uh, you know, power constrained. It's I think about at 15 watt maximum. So this is what the Mendocino chips will be. And then we have got uh, Barcelo R7030. I'm really not sure about this one. 
and then we have Rembrandt. Rembrandt, you know, it's Ryzen 6000 series. And by the way, guys, these will be new models. That's what AMD is claiming. Like you can see over here, new design, uh, new designs will be coming for 2022. So they will be continuing even their older architectures in 2022 in newer products. So yeah, uh, you know, Rembrandt will continue. That's what it seems like. I'm not sure. Maybe for this year and, uh, and maybe they will discontinue it next year. I'm not sure. But yeah, they will be continuing with Rembrandt. And then comes the two important one. Phoenix Point and Dragon Range. These two are the most extra exciting one. So the Phoenix ones will be for elite ultra thin laptops. Now, what I understand is that you can see uh, it is probably going to be in the 35 watt range. Like that's what they call. But obviously, these will have configurable TDPs up to 65 watt. Like you see the HS series, right? The HS series in the, you know, the Zephyrus products. So even though they claim to be 35 watts, they can obviously uh, like ASUS boosts them up to 65 watts. So uh, yeah, obviously the configurable TDP will be up to 65 watt. So the Phoenix point is supposed to actually be uh, uh, replacing like like core for core replacement for Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 5000 Zen 3. So Phoenix point will come with exceptional efficiency in mind as along with the upgrades of Zen 4. Like, you know, high clock speeds, high IPC, better multi-core performance and all those things. Like overall big improvements in terms of speed and processing, but they will be targeting the, you know, the most ultra thin laptops. So you can imagine, right? Phoenix Point will have a massive uh, advantage over, you know, these Alter Lake chips and, you know, the upcoming uh, Raptor Lake, which obviously look like, like, like really power guzzling chips, whereas Ryzen will be focusing on power and a lot of a lot more on efficiency. So Phoenix Point is very exciting for those who want you know really thin and light, powerful gaming laptops. So yeah, uh, exciting to see what's going to come. It's it, only time will tell. But Phoenix Points looks like really good, like up to eight cores and uh, super high you know efficiency in mind. And then we have got Dragon Range. This is what I am more excited for because you know it's all about the performance. Uh, I do like efficiency, but yeah, Dragon Range excites me because the main thing about performance is that they're going to increase the core counts all the way up to 16 cores, 32 threads. This is going to be exciting, guys. Uh, again, it's a it's a, it's a Ryzen uh, APU. Efficiency is always in mind, right? Like it's not an afterthought. Performance for Dragon Range is is the most highest priority, and then efficiency. But otherwise, you know. Efficiency is always in mind. The whole architecture is designed for, you know, lesser TDP, lesser power draw. Like I've seen like Alder Lake high end chips like the HX series go up as high as 150 watts. That is ridiculous. But these things will probably go upwards up to like, let's say 75, 80 watts max to max or and the more casual laptops will be like 65 watts. So configurable TDP is of 65 watt. But then again, I think the manufacturers can increase it as much as possible so dragon range is targeting 55 watts and above so i think the base tdp obviously will be lesser than 55 watts but this is what the like uh, let's say uh, you know the the actual power target is 55 watts and above in any stressful condition it will draw at a minimum of 55 watts and you know it can go above and beyond so ryzen 7000 dragon range super exciting the Dragon range is supposedly it's going to be complete like desktop replacement products, right? And uh, like so much so that what I'm hearing from the rumors is that the the topmost Ryzen uh, 7000 Dragon range part, the Ryzen 9 7980HX, I'm not sure about the naming, is going to provide you with desktop Ryzen 9. 5950x levels of performance at 65 watt uh, power target power envelope that is incredible because if you have paid attention to the you know the ryzen 7000 uh, uh, launch one thing that they, sh that they showed between you know the ryzen 9 7950x and the ryzen 9 5950x is that when you lock the tdp to 65 watts right if you lock both the tdp of ryzen 9 5000 like 5950x and the ryzen 9 7950x then the 7950X is up to 74% faster than the Ryzen 9 5950X at a 65 watt power target. That is a serious, serious improvement. That is a that is not a joke. That's a serious improvement. So you can expect the similar performance upgrades if you have if you like if you get a chance to get the let's say the topmost Ryzen 9 7000 part. It is supposedly bringing Ryzen 9 950X desktop performance into laptops. 
incredible i am spellbound and i'm super excited for ryzen 7000 for laptops guys i'm not joking like if you are a serious like if you're into if you seriously into um, you know um gaming laptops high end portable technology then ryzen 7000 is looking like an absolute winner like amd has got an absolute winner in their hands so yeah super excited guys and yeah uh, the sorry the interesting point that i was coming to is that between phoenix and uh, uh, dragon range the phoenix uh, a laptop APUs which are going to be in you know the ultra thin laptops like let's say you know uh, Lenovo IdeaPads um, or uh, ThinkPads these things are going to pack in RDNA 3 iGPUs whereas the Dragon range parts which is always like almost likely to have uh, dedicated NVIDIA GPUs or Radeon GPUs with them big dedicated GPUs so AMD has put RDNA 2 iGPUs with the Dragon range because most of the time you will not be using like 99% of the time you will not be using the uh, integrated graphics with the Dragon range but for Phoenix they have added Zen uh, RDNA 3 iGPUs so that's exciting so you know ultra thin laptops with tremendous integrated graphics it's a it's a it's obviously a great thing and also it's an intelligent decision to not pack the highest and the fastest iGPUs with Dragon range because Dragon range will be put into laptops which which will already have dedicated big big dedicated GPUs so that's uh, that's not a factor for Dragon range so that's a pretty intelligent decision so that's all I wanted to uh, talk about in this video guys it's a small video uh, not much to say and uh, super excited for Ryzen 7000 and you should be too if you're looking for a high-end laptop uh, you know next year uh, I think it may be worth waiting for but otherwise you know uh, Obviously, um, uh, Flipkart Big Billion Day is coming alongside. I think Amazon will also do their sales, and I'll be coming on live uh, with uh, updates and uh, sales and you know all the deals and everything. So, yeah, super exciting weekend, guys. Personally, I don't have any plans. I've already spent a lot. You know, if you have checked my other channel, I bought a camera recently, and I'm recording it with this camera. So, yeah, uh, exciting weekend is coming. I'll catch you then. So, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. Otherwise, you know, like this video, uh, comment down below what you think about Ryzen 7000. And take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.